reports. This Japanese nuclear power plant has just been hit by a huge double earthquake. Seconds later, all power goes down as a giant tsunami hits the plant. Immediately, teams rush to assess the damage. Actually, it's a sunny afternoon. There's no tsunami. It's all been a simulation. This is the Sendai nuclear power plant in western Japan, the first since the Fukushima disaster to get approval to be switched back on. We're the first foreign media allowed through this door into the reactor building itself. Over $100 million has been spent here on new safety systems. It's now the safest nuclear plant in the world. And what we're essentially being shown here are all the systems that they've installed. The sprinkler system in the dome here, the hydrogen purification system. All systems that if they had been installed and working at Fukushima back in 2011 would have prevented those explosions and that triple meltdown. Even so, not everyone is convinced this place is safe. Where I'm standing now is just 60 kilometers from the nuclear plant. That behind me there is Sakurajima, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. But it's not the problem. It sits in the middle of Kagoshima Bay, which is an enormous caldera. It erupts about once every six to 7,000 years. And right now, it is overdue. The next mega eruption here may not happen for several thousand years, but Japan's top expert on volcanoes says that's impossible to predict. Once it's reactivated, the, it will affect the Sendai power plant. It is only a 60 kilometers. So the pyroclastic flow from a caldera will cover all the power plant. So why isn't Japan switching to safer alternatives, like solar energy? Well, actually, it is. Since the Fukushima disaster, private companies have been pouring money into huge solar projects like this. But the man who built this one, Tetsumi Shinchi, says the big power companies are now refusing to take any more. Right now, the government is refusing to buy more renewable energy from us. That is because this sector has grown much faster than the government expected. So at the moment, this is definitely failure. If it chose to, Japan could hugely increase output from solar and geothermal power. Instead, it is betting on a return to nuclear power. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Kagoshima.